nobody can get through this door. <laughs> you instantaneously know who this woman is. The minute she says, knock, knock, it's almost like her whole personality is in this walking in the door. just as funny as hell. And she's so, uh, she can do everything, you know, she was physical. She was so, she's so precise. You broke it. This was hand painted in Sweden. <laughs> this little vandal maliciously destroyed a handcrafted imported ball on a stick. I'll... <laughs> Why not go all the way, Eugene? Why not break it in half? I'll... But then it's just gonna put out your eyes. They are. Now, you feeling better? Oh, Filma, this toy had a child garden seal of approval. Iola was definitely a, a little, you know, was definitely older than me, but I'm not sure. I think Iola was a little bit more um, ageless in the sense that, uh, you know, she wasn't obviously Mama's age. Uh, she was just Mama's friend, but she was much younger than Mama. But this, the way they styled her uh, with that wig and, you know, and these, the baby doll dresses and, the, you know, you really had a hard time pinning down exactly how old she was. I always just assumed she was my age. <laughs> I just went with that. I have never understood what anyone sees in wrestling. Me either. It's just a bunch of pumped up sweaty men rolling around the floor wearing nothing but them skimpy little shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly was so great as Iola. Hello, Taylor Shopper. I would like to order the. No! It's the same technique used to train household pets. Iola, I think, gave Mama more dimension than her family did, because she could say things to Iola. She wouldn't show that vulnerability necessarily to her family. What's the problem? Why do you think I didn't finish high school? Because of some old pickle puss teacher, Mr. Pusey. Oh, really? Well, what was he like? Awful. He was the kind of teacher who'd call on you for an answer even when your hand wasn't up. Oh, I hated that. Wasn't fair to those of us who always had our hand up. Once, not often, but once in a while, she and Iola would sort of team up, you know, as partners in crime. I just remember Iola getting, go, they're going into this key shop and she's trying to get in through the window and her butt is sticking up and this dress is fun. And it's so funny. It's just so funny the way they did it. It's just wonderful. Go ahead, Iola. Climb in there. Mommy! You wanted to be Cagney. She always goes first. <laughs> Lexi always just stands outside and says, hurry up, Christine. I gotta get home to her. <laughs> All right, let me, let me see here. Well, what is the ladylike way to break into a building? Oh, come on, Ryla. Just go to the damn window. You can up this high, Thelma. All right, I'm gonna give you a boost right. here. Just a little higher. A little boost. Yeah, okay.
there was a new gal in town, uh, and she and Iola became friends to the point where Mama was jealous of the friendship. Iola kept saying, you know, just went overboard, just was with this woman 24-7 and driving her batty, you know. So Mama encouraged this gal to dump Iola. Just, just tell her the truth. Just tell her the truth that you, you know, you're just too much. And so she did. And I had, I had this great scene. I love that scene where she's just trying to hold it together, saying, it's fine, no, no, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. And of course, just falling apart. And then she finds out that it was Mama who did it the whole time. It's very funny. I really love that one. Well, I Iola, it's just that you're by my side 24 hours a day. It's too much. You're suffocating me, and I can't take it anymore. Oh, I see. Well, I'm very sorry if I have annoyed or distressed or, or suffocated you in any way. I certainly didn't mean to be a pest. I only meant to, to be a friend. Hi, Ola, sweetie. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> well, I hope you're happy. <laughs> Look what you've done. Me? You said she could take it. Why did you make me say that? <gasps> Thelma Harper, I should have known you were behind this. <laughs> Well, Beverly Archer is one of the most intelligent women I've ever known and very, very practical. But what I thought she brought to Iola was a, a, an extreme impractical practicality, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And she would make things out of dryer lint because it, it was free and it was very abundant, evidently, in your house. And she had, had done things like that and made little cozies for everything. And it was all very practical, but at the same time, <laughs> kind of nonsensical. Here's your crochet drumstick holster. <laughs> Great. And Naoma, your toilet paper fairy. <laughs> Why, I never noticed that her tiny wand is a dental floss dispenser. I wish I had the collection of stuff you made for Mama. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and who knew there was such a thing as a vacuum cleaner cozy? Mm -hmm. it, <laughs> <laughs> it actually exists in mail order catalogs. And oh. Iola was ahead of her time. So, as a token of our appreciation, I made me a gift. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My, my, my. What have we here? <laughs> it's a festive Kleenex caddy. Oh, those tissue people say their boxes are decorative, but they're not. I made you something special for your kitchen. Yeah, well, I hope it's an extra set of hands. Nope, it's a happy rainbow napkin holder. Iola, this is too wonderful. <laughs> it's what I always wanted. They're decorative, sanitized toilet seat protectors. <laughs> It's a multicolored cozy for your brand new VCR. Well, what have we here? It's a decoupage fold over keeper. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought it was. The practicality that you're talking about, I always thought she was this very frustrated not being able to be creative. You know, she was she had a very tiny, tiny, tiny life. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, which is why she invaded Mama's house every 10 seconds, because, you know, she had nothing at home except this apparently 500-pound woman that she took care of. <laughs> then pass me a little more of that macaroni and cheese. Oh, dinner was just delicious, Thelma. Thank you so much for inviting me. As I recall, Iola, you invited yourself. Now, hush, Naomi. Iola didn't invite herself places. She'd never go anywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Thelma. Although it won't be on the family tree, she was definitely made herself part of that family because she didn't have it. You have got to reorganize your kitchen cabinets. I can't find the baking soda anywhere. Well, it's right there under your skinny nose, you fuss budget. <laughs> Is that what you call your best friend? Iola, I think of you as family. Iola was part of that family, and Mama just leapt right in, you know, to come to her defense. And, and that happened 
a lot. You know, that's that was kind of the arc of the character. You know, Mama would complain, 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 and but when the chips were down, she took care of it. It's all right, Aunt Iola. There's always next year. Oh, that's what I used to say. <laughs> There, there, Iola. We could always take her picture and tell everybody she did go. <laughs> Bubba, I thought you left. No, I, I forgot something. What? My date. Vernette, uh, would you do me the honor of being my date to the prom tonight? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> That's my boy. Oh, I think I'm going to cry again. Knock, knock! I want that music stopped at once! Oh, thank you. Cheerful. She was cheerful. She was always cheerful, wasn't she? I think she always cheerful. She was cheerful, but... Was she? Yeah. yeah, she got upset. She had an edge, I think. She had you were in love with Vent. I was in love with Vent. Hi, Vent. Well, after six newsstands, I finally found the magazine you wanted. <laughs> I wondered what took you so long. Here it is, the latest issue of Gun and Tire, the magazine for men who hunt from their cars. <laughs> when I marry, I will be the perfect daughter-in-law. I would love my husband's family like my own. She, from childhood, has had a crush on Vent, that she's been madly in love with Vent. Hi. Hi, Vent. Hi, Ola. She's always bringing over brownies and, and cookies and, and things you know, just to see Vent. I made you a special dessert in my gourmet cooking class, double chocolate eclairs. And a little tragic, but no, certainly not the way Beverly Archer played her. <laughs> Welcome home, my little hubby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Knock it off or I'm gonna turn the garden hose on you too. Viola, for the best two years of my life, happy anniversary. Oh, Vent. <gasps> It's the Hope Diamond. <laughs> I'm going to um, tell a story on Beverly Archer, the, the person, in that she is such a study. You know, she gets a part, and she's going to do research and study this character. And so um, there was a lot of the perfect homemaker in Iola without the family to provide for. Um, and in the course of doing this series, Beverly became an amazing cook and was a sous chef for this fancy restaurant in, you know, just for fun, in Pasadena. And, and when she would invite us, you know, she would, you know, we would all visit with each other and socialize. You know, getting an invitation to Beverly's house for dinner was like so sought after because she was such an amazing cook, you know, she, she just, and it was, I think part of that was, you know, channeled for my Ola. Well, what you got there, I? I'd like to some banana nut buns, but I guess if you already have a delicious pecan pie. Yeah, why don't you just run them suckers on home, stick them in your freezer. <laughs> I suddenly lost my appetite. I think I'll better be going home. Oh, come on, I stay in chat. <laughs> no, thank you. I prefer to go home and freeze my buns. Well, my character deeply resented her, of course, because she was trying to steal my man. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even aware of that. <laughs> Vint didn't know that. <laughs> no, please, sir. <laughs> this is mine. I've wanted this SP2000 all my life, and you're not making me take it back. Well, bye. I hope it keeps you warm on those long, lonely nights ahead, because I sure won't. Well, I'll bet the neighbors are just loving this. <laughs> well, never mind the neighbors. Go ahead, you do. And I felt that she interfered with my relationship with Mama, too, that she kind of replaced, you know, that the position I should have had in your heart went to the neighbor instead of, you know, to your daughter-in-law. So, yeah. Hmm. No, there was hmm. definitely friction between the two of us. Well, Iola wasn't a slut. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thelma, here are the squares I was saving to make a quilt for your bedroom. I thought, since Naomi is such a whiz, she could just whip it up herself. <laughs> Oh, look, Mr. Harper, aren't they pretty? Thank you so much, I. <laughs> Thelma, this has gone on long enough. I can't even insult the woman. <laughs> ah! 
Oh, I am loving this. Viola. <laughs> oh, oh. She was part of Mama's family. Hi, then. Thank you for sharing. I swear, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do about them two. You mean there's no hope of a reconciliation? Down, girl.